Hi everyone, it's Burton Racing and in today's video we're going to be going over our plug and play fuel pump harness upgrade kits, mainly specific for Honda and Acura chassis using the OBD1 and OBD2 systems, but we're also going to be going over the expansion harness that's available with this kit that will allow you to adapt it to OBD0 cars such as CRX and EF as well as custom applications such as an external fuel cell, a rear sump, or external fuel pump. So here we have our fuel pump harness upgrade kit. This is the standard kit and just like with all of our other harnesses that we offer, the first thing you're going to notice other than the high quality wire that we use is the flame retardant and abrasive resistant looming as well as high quality 3 to 1 adhesive line heat shrink. Now the upgrade over this kit versus kits that are already in the market is they use 14 gauge wire. We use true 12 gauge wire throughout the harness for power and grounds. Not only is this wire well rated for its application, the wire we're using in this application is also nylon coated. So that means it's perfect for any application that may get oil or fuel on it, such as gasoline or E85. It's completely resistant to all those and since it's gonna be going into the engine bay and through the fuel pump cover, it's going to make it perfect for those environments and standing up through the test of time. So here we have the beginning power wire. What this does is it goes into our, our uh, underhood fuse box and it runs to a Delphi fuse holder. We got, we're running a 20, uh, 20 amp fuse which is standard with our kit. This comes with the kit. It has seals on the top and bottom. It's a completely weatherproof system for our fuse holder. Then we have a four pin relay. Once again, our four pin relay has seals inside and out. It's a completely sealed relay. It'll hold up to any type of weather, uh, getting gasoline on it, or if it's a wet application, this is the perfect relay you want to use. It also comes with a mount standard with the kit. Now running through, we have the full body. This will fit two door and four door application. It's plenty long enough and if you have any extra you can just wrap it up under underneath the dashes where this is going to be centralized at. And it runs all the way down to our plug and play connectors. Basically what we're going to be doing today, later on in the video for the installation, we're going to be unplugging the stock harness system and we're going to be patching our harness system in. So we have the power and the signal wires running all the way through this connector is going to plug in and pick up our stock fuel pump signals and then it's going to allow us to use our new power and ground signals here with a ground wire that's plenty long enough to even run outside your um, fuel pump cover and it will be able to be bolted up to most rear seat mounts where the 10 millimeter stud is hanging out of the chassis or if you want to mount this in a, in a separate location, you're more than welcome to. Now our expansion harness that is also available for additional cost. Standard is five foot is what's gonna be coming with the expansion harness. Once again, the 12 gauge is nylon coated. It's perfect for any fuel or oil application. And then we have our 18 gauge signal wires. So all this harness is going to do is going to patch in to our harness here and you have your powers and grounds ready to go and you also have your signals ready to go so if you want to run your signal wires up your center console and either go into an ignition source so you can bypass the main relay with this expansion kit or if you want to wire it to a completely manual option of using a switch on a switch panel or if you just want to have it on a toggle and complete manual control over your fuel pump this is going to get the job done and then here we have our 12 gauge power and ground extension this will allow you to run it all the way to the back of the car if you're running a rear sump with an external fuel pump application that may be mounted on the frame rail or around the tank if you're using an external fuel cell and you want to run the wires into the top of the, the fuel cell 
We also include a two wire bulkhead connector. This is going to allow you to run the wires into the fuel cell or the top of your top hat for your, uh, your existing fuel tank. And it's going to give you a watertight seal. And it's also resistant to all types of fuels such as E85, alcohol, and standard gasoline. So now we're going to move on to the installation portion on our car. So just like our other products, we outfit our products to be as straightforward and easy to install as possible. So just to kind of implement that, we're going to be using a completely stock 2000 Honda Civic EK sedan for this install video, just to show you guys how easy and simple it is working around a completely factory car. Now, this harness kind of centralizes underneath the dash here. So we're going to start here and then we're going to work our way out into the engine bay and then we're going to run it back to the fuel pump location. So for better visualization and an easier install, we went ahead and removed the glow box and the lower kick panel. So you can kind of mount the fuse and the relay wherever you see fit on this car. On the dash bar, there was already two holes here. So we went ahead and put a 10 millimeter bolt through and fastened our relay and our fuse holder to the same spot. And we had our wires ran down below towards the ECU. So here we have our fuel pump harness tapped into our under hood fuse box. Now what this is going to allow us to do is get 14 volt power signal by directly tapping into the alternator side of the electrical system. Notice there's a different screw on that alternator side because we do include an extra screw that is slightly longer than the stock for some applications if necessary feel free to use that longer screw you also may be required to trim the top of the underhood fuse box case please only do so very minimal and if necessary once again now we're going to have this wire run into our fuse holder which will then go into our relay and now we'll go on to install the rest of the harness into the rear of the car. So we pulled off the side panels, ran our fuel pump harness back to the actual fuel pump location, tucked it under our carpet, and we've removed the top of the fuel pump cover. Now this allows us to get into the actual top hat of our fuel tank where the fuel pump is mounted. So we pulled back our cover here that protects the connector. Now we're pulling our connector out. Now as you notice, the connectors look very, very similar. So you're going to take the male side we just pulled out, and you're going to connect that to our fuel pump harness. And then we're gonna take the, con the other connector supplied on our harness, and we're going to install that into the top hat of our factory fuel pump. Now we also have a ground wire to be ran out. Now you can either cut this and modify it to run the actual connectors through this location and then seal that up with RTV, or you can bend up the lip of the cover and also put a little RTV on there if you're getting any type of noxious gas or anything like that coming through into your cabin. So it's a very nice fit, no sharp edges. You're not gonna be worried about cutting this or severing it any type of way. Now you have your ground wire. This ground wire is gonna be able to be ran up underneath the rear seat to the 10 millimeter bolt hole that is in that chassis already on most rear seat equipped cars. If you don't have a rear seat, then you can look for any other type of mounting location. There's several other bolt holes and stud locations in the rear of most Honda and Acura cars. Now, let's say you're running an OBD Zero car such as the CRX or EF. It does not use this factory two pin style connector. So 
with our available expansion kit, we're going to plug it in. Now what this is going to allow us to do, most OBD Zero cars actually have a four pin connector because it has the not just the fuel pump but the fuel sending unit inside that top hat system as well. So now you're going to be able to cut this 12 gauge power and ground wire to length and then use our two wire bulkhead fitting on the top of your factory top hat. You can just drill a hole. Once you, once you remove the top hat, you can drill a hole at the best location and run the wires through and you won't have any fumes or splashing or any type of liquid or gas escaping through this appropriately sealed bulkhead connector. Then you would take our 18 gauge signal wire and you just splice it into your factory fuel pump connection. What that's going to do is it's going to allow you to still have your fuel pump level sensor inside the tank, but it's going to tap off of your fuel pump power and ground, signaling the relay and allowing the new power and ground with the upgraded 12 gauge wire and 14 volt signal to work appropriately. Now, if you have a rear mounted fuel pump, such as an external unit on a rear sump and a uh, fuel cell system. You're going to have five foot of this standard. If you need more wire, you're gonna just have to email us and let us know and we can take care of you and build you a custom off the shelf harness. So this is gonna be five foot. It's gonna be plenty long enough to run it to the back of the fuel pump or run it to your fuel cell or do whatever you have to do with your power and ground and you're still gonna have your remote ground location that can be inside the car away from the elements and then once again we're gonna have five foot of signal wire you can run this all the way up your your center console to a different ignition source if you want to bypass your main relay or you can run it to a manual option such as a switch panel mounted at your dash you're gonna have plenty of wire to run this up and do so with that so now we have our complete system plugged in instead of a regulated 12 volt signal to the fuel pump we're actually getting 14.2 bounces around a little bit from 14.25 to 14.28 so now we have a whole extra two volts going to our fuel pump this is going to increase your fuel flow by roughly 15 percent throughout the entire rpm range so now you've seen just how easy it is to upgrade your fuel system's wiring, as well as efficiently upgrade your fuel pump's power and ground to supply a 14 volt signal and increase the fuel flow without any additional hardware necessary for your fuel system. Just like every other Burton Racing product, it's easy and effective. You can come see them at our website, Facebook, and Instagram as well as inquire with our email below in the description.